The Zoo Museum Millage passed in November allows $2.1 million to be reappropriated. And we're looking at really more of a reinvestment than a reappropriation. We'll be addressing some needs in, in our in our correctional facility that need to be addressed and to actually end up reducing some of our operating costs. So that's a good investment. Consider this. At the Kent County Correctional Facility, new shower valves that turn off when water usage is being abused will cost $217,000, but are estimated to save $80,000 a year in water and maintenance bills. At that rate, the installation will pay for itself in just three years. The Finance Committee has recommended approval of appropriating some funding for parks so that we can invest in, in some of the infrastructure improvements that need to take place to maintain um, safety. The County Administration Building now has a U.S. flag disposal box. When Old Glory is ready to retire, you can drop your flag off here for proper disposal. When we can do things like this, and we can do them in a manner that is able to service the public without increasing a burden on anyone, it seems like a logical thing to do. 2016 is coming to an end. It's been a busy year in Kent County. We've done a lot of things to enhance our services to the public, and honestly, with the public's help, we've been able to do it through the voters and we appreciate that and just want to, we're looking forward and gearing up to a very busy 2017, but certainly wish everyone a, a safe and prosperous holiday and new year. Check out what services are provided by Kent County at our site, www.accesskent.com. See you in 2017.